Hi everyone. In this video we're going to look at adjusting margins and padding in Avada Live. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. With Avada Live it is exceptionally easy to adjust margins and padding. These can be set on every container and column on the page, and many elements as well have built-in margin options. For more information about spacing generally, please watch the How to Control Spacing in Avada video, linked below. There are two ways to adjust margins or padding in Avada Live. To input a padding or margin value, simply edit the container or column you wish to adjust, and then go to the Design tab. On this tab we can find the margin and padding options. Here you can input your desired values directly. Margins have top and bottom values, while padding has top, right, bottom and left values. These values can be input in any valid CSS unit, including pixels and percentages. An alternative way to edit the margins and paddings is to do it visually. When you edit a container or column in Avada Live, you will see coloured handles at the top and bottom and left and right of the selected container or column. These can be used to visually drag the margins and paddings to your desired settings. As you drag, a coloured area will appear showing you the area that will be padding or margin. Correspondingly, the values in the container or column margins or padding option will change. The blue handles are for padding, which is the internal space around content inside a column or container, and the purple handles are for margins, which is the external space around columns and containers. To increase the top or bottom margin or padding, drag the top or bottom handles down. To decrease, drag them up. To increase the left and right padding, drag the blue side handles inwards. To decrease padding, drag them outwards. The purple side handles on columns are for column spacing, and these work in the same way as the side padding controls. With these simple controls you can quickly and visually refine your layout to reflect your desired design style. And with the responsive option sets, you can override your selections and set different margins and paddings for both medium and small screens. Just view your design in a different screen size, and as the responsive icon indicates on the margin and padding options, any margin or padding values you set here will only apply for that screen size. As well as on columns and containers, most elements now have their own margin controls, which is really useful in some layout situations. With these easy to use and extensive margin and padding controls, you can lay out your visual elements on the page in just the way you want. Ok, this concludes our video on adjusting margins and padding in Avada Live. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.